Hi, YouTubers. Welcome to Johnny's Netsec YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to continue to talk about how to deploy WordPress, MariaDB, and Jinx. Um, I had a previous video using Portainer, install Nginx WordPress MariaDB for web application. Um, at the end of this video, I didn't finish it. So this video gonna kind of quickly review it and then finish this video. So basically we're gonna use in Pertainer, which we already installed it and it's working fine. Um, we're using public IP 52.186.127.118. Uh, on the TCP port 9000. There's a couple of ways to deploy WordPress. You can use template uh, from here, or you can just go into containers to add container one by one, which is a preferred way from me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start this Nginx. Uh, we can pull the uh, Nginx latest image, change the start policy to always, configure port for it, you can use port 80 for engine, for WordPress to run engine is not necessary, um, you can pull WordPress in image without using engine. So that's your decision, but I would prefer to have Nginx here. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you WordPress part, not showing you the Nginx part. So we're gonna not do the Nginx configuration. We're gonna do WordPress here. Gonna pull WordPress latest image. Uh, of course, you need to publish a new port. Um, I'm gonna use in a 10,000. I'm mapping to local port 80. Same thing, restart policy, change it to always. You may need to set up um, environment variable here, but uh, it's not really needed for all this lab. So it should be up, we can make Test it. Let's import 10,000. It's here. Continue. We need a database name user, name, password, host. Uh, we don't have database, so let's go back here and add another container, which is our database. And preferring using MariaDB. Um, there's just a couple of environment settings you need to add here for sure. One is a uh, root password. So my SQL root password, you need to set it up. Um, I'm just gonna put the password one, two, three, four. That's it. Uh, of course, the port, you need to expose the port. Uh, but if you don't want it, it's not necessary for you to do that. Um, if you want to open to the globally, yeah, of course, you can map it out uh, to 33, map it out to 20,000, and the connect in the port is 3306. Uh, restart policy, always change it always, and deploy this container. This just a couple of seconds and then just get it down. You can see the IP address is 172.17.005. If you didn't expose 20,000, then most likely you can use in that IP to do that. So username, we're using root. We have password, one, two, three, four, and the database, zero to five. So there's one thing we didn't do is so it, it doesn't work. It cannot establish in the database connection. Uh, let's go back, try again. We can try to see the port. 
here, which report we exposed. Okay, once we try the public IP, you can see um, different error messages. The database where the database didn't create it. Okay, we can go back to MariaDB and then quickly create it to the database. Okay, database created. Let's try again. Okay, Sparky, and we can start to set up uh, our WordPress as usual. We are in. So the basic configuration is this. It's a simple, easy, and fast way to deploy your WordPress through a portal. Thank you for watching.